Hi everybody. This is an electronically controlled viscous engine fan that was replaced on a 2014 Ram 5500 series heavy duty pickup truck with a Cummins diesel engine. This fan clutch was replaced because the bearing assembly failed. So first I'll show you how this goes together on the engine. This is the main engine mounting bracket. This mounts onto the front of the engine, uh, basically like that. And then normally, when this is not a failed unit, these two components here make up the bearing assembly. And then this bolt and special washer hold this assembly together onto the bracket. So, when you buy a replacement assembly, this is what you get. It's the bracket with the bearing and this threaded piece, and that's where the viscous fan clutch gets attached to. So, no big deal. We've seen these things on lots of different engines, and the way this one failed is kind of interesting. The seal failed, it lost the lubricant, which caused the ball bearings to fail, and made the assembly noisy. As for the fan clutch itself, this broke during removal. Normally, there's a wiring harness that attaches to this component, which provides a connection to the engine computer. So, since this is broken off, it's a good opportunity to show you how this works. Today, it's about 80 degrees in the shop, which is relatively cool for an engine fan. Since there's no electrical connection to the computer, this fan clutch is in a default mode, which is pretty much a solid connection between the drive input and the fan clutch itself. So, if I were to try to turn the input, it's actually really hard to turn. And that's because there's no slippage taking place between the input and the fan clutch. Now, normally at 80 degrees, that's relatively cool for an engine. And so, you'd want to have quite a bit of slippage between the input and the clutch. But the only way for that to take place is the engine computer has to command it through this connection, which, like I said, it's broken off. So this connection does two things. First, it gives a speed input of the fan clutch back to the computer. As this rotates, pulses are generated which tell the computer how fast it's turning. At the same time, the computer can command the clutch on and off at varying levels. So for example, it could command 10%, 40%, 80%, or even 100% fan clutch. Right now, since there's no connection, it's basically locked together. I mean, it does slip, but it's really hard to make it turn. So if this wasn't broken, I'd be able to command it to 0%, and then the input would basically spin free. Because like I said, 80 degrees is relatively cool, and you don't need a lot of engine cooling at 80 degrees. However, when the engine temperature gets much hotter, say closer to 190 or 200 degrees, then you'd want to have a lot more engine cooling, and so the computer can command the clutch to turn on at a higher rate, basically locking it together like it is right now. In our next video, we'll take this apart. There's a couple screws around the perimeter, which once they're removed, we should be able to open this up and see what's inside. So, pretty cool. Well, if you have any questions or any comments, post them below. And thanks for watching. And if you like my videos, please subscribe.